Welcome to Sidelines, stories from the Oklahoma Sports Heritage Museum in Guthrie, Oklahoma. This 11-episode series highlights some of the most interesting tales connected to this gem of a museum, celebrating the rich history of professional and collegiate athletics in Oklahoma. Coach, let's talk about uh, the Wainer brothers, Paul and Lloyd, who are the only—I'm I'm, correct—in that they're the only brothers in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Is that right? That's correct. They're only brothers that have been inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame, and uh, they are not—they were not really big athletes, but they were very, very athletic, and they played a lot of baseball. Baseball was really big in Oklahoma in the early years, and it was big in a lot of the small communities. Had town teams and uh, teams where they traveled around, and the Wainer boys took up baseball when they were very young. They were from Hare, Oklahoma. And we have a trunk at the museum that an antique dealer bought in a sale at Hominy, and when he was carrying it out the door of this house that he bought it in, a lady was sitting on the front porch, an elderly lady, and she said, I don't. E- I bet you don't even know what you bought. And he said, well, this old antique trunk. And she said, no, look inside of it. And inside this trunk is plastic liner. And she said, the Wainer boys had that trunk to carry their baseball equipment in the trunk of, a, of an old coop. And they traveled all over eastern Oklahoma playing baseball, and they'd throw their equipment back there in the back, and he, she said most of the time it'd be sweaty, and so they put a plastic liner in there. So he calls me, and he said, I, I got this this trunk, and I don't know what to do with it. And he said, uh, do you want it, or could you use it in any way? And I said, you bet. Uh, Have you ever said no uh, to anything before? Not really. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> and uh, so we have made a display out of that, and we've got, we've got a glove from each one of the winners, Paul and Lloyd. We got one of their bats in there and uh, several pictures of the house. And then uh, Paul Wainer was picked up first, and he went to uh, San Francisco and played minor league baseball out there. And one day he said to the coach, he said, you know what, my brother's a good player as I am. You need to check on him. And he was, I think, about two years younger, Lloyd. And so they checked on Lloyd, and they – told Paul to see if he could get him to come out there. Then the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, uh, bought the contract of uh, uh, Paul Wainer, and he was moved up with the Pittsburgh Pirates before long, and then Lloyd followed him there. Uh, then uh, Paul played with uh, the Dodgers for a while. Uh, but uh, both of them were outstanding outfielders and were great hitters. They were not home run hitters. Uh, the bat they used was much like a Jackie Robinson model, uh, model bat. It had a thicker handle. They could, but they had tremendous ability of handling that bat uh, to hit the ball to any field, no matter where the ball was pitched. And so they both had an outstanding batting average and uh, were outstanding in uh, uh, playing the outfield. And so we have a video at the museum that was a home video that was taken by the Wainer family. Most of it is of the family going to the lake, going to the farm. They lived on a mm-hmm. farm out there. But they do have some pictures of Paul and Lloyd both there, and we have them on video uh, of them feeling the ball and throwing it home, just demonstrating how their footwork and some games that they played in. One of the games – that they played in, Babe Ruth was in, and we have him at the bat. Then we have on that video also the induction in the Hall of Fame of Paul, and in that video is uh, Jackie Robinson. Really? And, uh, so uh, it's really a really unique place, and um, Lloyd Wainer Jr. used to be uh, live in Edmond, and he was uh, in the oil lease business, and he had that video, and he – gave us a copy of it, and now we've had it transformed to disc. And so uh, if people have got time and want to take time, they can see that. But uh, they were two uh, outstanding baseball players and proved, and and many others proved this too, but that you don't have to be, you know, 6'4", 6'5", to play the game. Uh, They were both right around 5'10", 5'11". In fact, in Brooklyn – 
there was a, you know, how Brooklyn accent is. They called him, one of them, a fan in, in Ebbets Field hollered at, there's a big poison. Well, he really meant big person and little person, but it sounded like <laughs> poison. And so they got the nickname of being big poison and little poison. Those are great and, nicknames. <laughs> they are. And, uh, uh, in fact, their grandson was at the museum just la- last week and picked up that video to take and get a copy made for him. They're getting us some additional pictures of the Wainers. And, uh, but we're fortunate to have several things from their career. That's super cool. You know, just having two professional athletes from the same high school is, pr- is really cool. I mean, we'll talk about uh, in a diff- different episode – uh, Lindy Waters, uh, Trey Young, both Norman kids, yep. um, professional basketball players now. Uh, but we're talking with with the Wainer brothers. Not only are they like, two guys from the same town, it's a small town. I mean, uh, Hare is not a big old place. No, nope. uh, to have these two brothers not just not only become professional athletes but Hall of Fame athletes, uh, yep. it's pretty wild. And so it's it's really cool that folks can come to the museum here and learn more about those guys. Well, one of the, that, it just goes again to prove, and many of the athletes that we've honored there at the museum uh, came from small town Oklahoma. Yeah. And uh, kids in small towns concentrated on sports. They didn't have anything else to do. And uh, consequently, we've had some great athletes come out of very small towns. And uh, I had a guy come into the museum the, uh, recently from Hera. And I said, uh, are you aware that uh, there are two Hall of Famers from Hera? He said, no, really? And I said, yeah, there are two brothers that lived right outside of here, Paul and Lloyd Wainer. And so he went right to that display. And uh, here's a guy living in that town didn't even know they were they were in the Baseball Hall of Fame. You're like a history professor. It's what you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Well, I taught history for years in public <laughs> school. But, uh, and uh, since I've taken over the directorship of our museum here, uh, which is not my museum. It belongs to the state of Oklahoma. It's a, incorporated as a 501c3. I've learned a lot about the history of Oklahoma and, and uh, uh, our sports history, and we have a tremendous history for the state of Oklahoma. That's awesome. Come to Guthrie and learn some more about uh, the Wainer brothers. Uh, really cool story. Thanks, yep. Coach.